Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy Friday. And welcome if you are new here. It is Weigh-In Friday, WW Workshop Friday. Step on the scale, come back with a recap of the workshop Friday. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I had a great week, very busy. I've been in classes yesterday and I have classes all day today. I got my hair done this week, which was really exciting. It's just been a good, busy week. My food has been pretty darn good. I would say... 90 to 95% right on plan, right where I need to be. So that is awesome. I didn't get a whole lot of walking in. I don't know why I'm just not motivated to do it. It's The weather has been a little bit crummy. It's been raining a few mornings, but I am in the process of getting my workout room set up so that I have no excuses come winter, that I have a treadmill, I have a weight bench, I have um free weights and kettlebells all in my weight room. I have a TV, so it's going to be all set up for me to really, really focus on the working out come the winter. But I have not been walking like I should be, so I may need to make it a goal to do it this next week. And I know that if I tell you guys that I'm going to film myself walking in the morning, then I do it. I don't know what the weather is going to look like, so... If the weather is good, which I'm not sure, again, what the weather forecast looks like for this next week, it's so hit and miss here, then I will plan on walking and taking you guys along with me and filming me on my walks. So other than that, everything's been really good. Been busy, busy. Uh, we, I'm getting ready to go to Vegas next month for my meetup on my Facebook group. So if you are not part of my Facebook group, make sure that you head on over. I'm going to put it right here on the screen for you guys. It is such a great place. We are just shy of 9,000 members and we are having a huge meetup in Las Vegas, the middle of October, October 12th, actually, where we're going to have dinner, go to a show, hang out, get to know each other. So definitely check out my Facebook group. Other than that, things have been really good. So I'm going to go ahead and head into my workshop, weigh in, stay for the meeting, and I'll be back to share all of the juicy details with you. So just stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm out of my workshop. And again, Again, WW, you did it again. I loved this week's topic. It was about carbs. And I think this is something that is a misconception in the healthy eating or the diet world or the healthy lifestyle world that carbs are bad for you. My friends, the verdict is carbs are not bad for you. Carbs are full of nutrient rich foods and fiber and fiber keeps you full. Generally, most carbs are low in fat unless they're loaded with sugar. So carbs are not the enemy. Carbs are your friend. And it is important to include carbs in your eating plan. I wanted to say diet, but WW is not a diet. It's a lifestyle. So incorporating carbs into your day-to-day -day eating, your lifestyle, because it's okay to have them. And yes, they have points, most of them, but they are full of nutrients and they're full of fiber and most carbs are good for you. So let's dig into carbs and what kind of carbs are best on your journey. So let's talk about the different kinds of carbs. So there are carbs that are sugary carbs, such as cake, candy, cookies. Those foods are generally really high in smart points and are not nutrient dense. They're not necessarily good for you on a regular basis. Is it okay to every once in a while to treat yourself to something sweet or something that is considered a bad carb? Absolutely. That's what weeklies are for. If you choose to spend your points on that, that's entirely up to you. The best part about WW, well, one of the best parts is we can eat whatever we want as long as it fits within our points. So the truth is, if I want to eat a Snickers bar, two or three a day for all of my points, I can do that. And I'm still within my points. Is it necessarily the best food choice? No. Is it the best choice of carbs? No. But it's still within my points. It's still within what is considered a calorie deficit for me. So, Speaking of sweet stuff, maybe swap out some of those sweet things. So instead of having a sugary Coca-Cola, have a Diet Coke. Instead of having candy, swap it out for an apple, maybe dipped in some PB2 or some non-fat Greek yogurt sweetened with some sugar-free jam. Just try to swap out those unhealthy carbs for a little bit more healthy carbs, but still allow yourself to have the sweet things in life if that's what you want to do. And it is okay to have something sweet for your points. It is okay to sometimes use your carbs on sweet things or things that aren't nutrient dense and deemed good for you. That is okay. But on a 
day-to-day -day basis, just try swapping out some of the not so good carbs for some of those good carbs. Also, when you're creating those sweet type of recipes, those carby recipes, play a little bit with your ingredients. So instead of using sugar, swap it out for a really ripe mashed banana. It's going to add just the right amount of sweetness that sugar would, but it's definitely better for you. Definitely has more nutrients, has fiber, has sugar, yes, but it's naturally occurring sugar versus man-made sugar. You can also swap out that banana in place of baked goods. You can put that into your oatmeal. You can add it to pretty much anything to give yourself the sweetness that it would be lacking in that type of a dish. Just find alternatives that are better for you than plain Jane white processed sugar. That way you can still have those sweet treats, but you're just swapping out one bad carb with one better carb. Also, know your zero point carbs. Those things, beans, lentils, peas, corn, those are all zero points on WW. So swap those out for some of the pointed carbs. You could swap out pasta for zoodles. You could swap out regular pasta for the fiber gourmet pasta that's loaded with protein and fiber. You can swap out regular rice for cauliflower rice. Is it the same? No. It's not. Don't let anyone try to tell you that cauliflower rice tastes like regular rice because it doesn't. But it's a good alternative on the daily. Now, maybe on the weekend you want to go out or you want to splurge and you want to have real pasta or real rice. Do that. Or maybe you want real bread instead of a light bread. It's okay to do that. But obviously our points don't allow us to have those things on a daily basis. So we have to try to make healthier substitutions to fit carbs in with our smart points. But do not take carbs out of your diet. Our bodies need carbohydrates. That is our main source of energy. So don't eliminate carbs. In fact, don't ever eliminate an entire food group out of your diet. One, it's not sustainable at all. And two, it's not healthy for you. Our bodies need grains, meats, dairy, vegetables, fruits. Our body needs all of those things to sustain itself to be a healthier version of ourselves. So make sure that you're just taking a closer look at your carbs. Try to make some better substitutions. Pump up the spices and things in your food to replace some of the carby ingredients and just fit carbs into your daily points and use your weeklies for those extra special moments where you want some of those not so good for you carbs. But make sure that you still incorporate carbs into your daily lifestyle. So let's talk a little bit about my way in. As I mentioned before going in, I had a pretty darn good week food-wise. Not so much on the walking or the exercise front, but overall with the food, I had a pretty darn good week. I'm gearing up for my meetup in Las Vegas. So again, hop over to my Facebook group for all the details on that. It's here on the screen for you. So overall, my week went really well. So when I stepped on the scale, I lost 1.6 pounds. Yay! So I lost the pound I had gained last week plus a little bit more. I'm A-OK -okay with that. So now we're on the downhill slide. We're getting closer to our goal. We're getting back to where I was. So it's been a struggle, as you know, for the last, I don't know, couple months for me. It's a lot of up and down and up and down in my weight. And I can only blame myself for that. Now, there are times, though, that I get on the scale and I'm like, why did I gain or why didn't I lose? But the majority of the time, the fault is my own. So I'm back on the downhill slope. I'm actually going to be starting a challenge on my Facebook group. So definitely join my Facebook group. We're going to call it the Gold Star Challenge, where I'm going to create an eating plan for you for an entire week. And we're going to do some prizes for the most loss. We're just going to do a week of eating a good solid meal plan and help us lose a little bit more weight when we step on the scale. So that's coming. I have my Vegas trip here in about a month. So I want to make sure that I can shed a few pounds for that. Because as you know, when you travel, when in Vegas, there's a lot of food and treats and things that you eat. So it's hard for me to lose weight on vacation. I just try to come back without gaining a whole bunch, to be completely honest. But overall, my week went well. I am on track today. I actually brought a Quest bar and a healthy eating all the time and go bar because I have a class till about one o'clock this afternoon. So I set myself up for success. I brought a bottle of water and a sparkling water. So there's coffee. And they talked about donuts yesterday, but 
I'm not touching the donuts. I'm just going for the information. So I'm actually going to be heading into the office now for my class, but I'm happy about my week. It went really well. I will insert a picture next of the recipe on the back of the weekly. Speaking of doing swaps for carbs, it looks really, really good. And I want to hear how your guys's week went. It's so nice to hear in the comments how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? What's your game plan for the upcoming week? And what is your guys's thought on carbs? I'm always interested to hear what other Weight Watchers feel about carbs. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. So happy that you stopped by. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video. That way you're not missing a single one. I do weigh-ins every single Friday. Thumbs up this one. And again, leave some comments down below. Let me know how your guys' week went. And I want to definitely hear your thoughts on carbs. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. You mean the world to me. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.